Hello everyone. In today's class, we will having a discussion on binary signal. As binary signal are of two types, or having a two state, either one or zero, either true or false, or on and the off condition. The best example of the binary signal is given by this GIF, where the hand of the man is just uh, representing the state of the device when the finger on that particular switch is just pressing that switch then it gives the on state which is denoted in red color when it releases the finger then it gives the off state if we clearly see this graph the off state denotes the zero and on state denotes the logic one now the question came into the mind that why we are dealing with this one and zero what is the need to learn about these positive negative logics high and low or one and zero as everybody knows nowadays we perform every task on the computers we just write a code we compile it we run it and we just solve the complex problems into the simpler one so in order to understand this we just take an example that if a chinese person want to communicate with the japanese person then they need a translator because they don't understand the language of each and every one so we need a translator which converts the chinese into the japanese and then japanese into the chinese same happens in the digital world here if you represent a then it gives the a as a 1 and 0 to the digital system digital system is nothing that is our computer then output of this 1 and 0 converts into a again which means when we press a from the keyboard the a will display on the screen of the system rather than 1 and 0 but the internal processing is in the form of 1 and 0 only because the computer understand the binary signal that's why we are just dealing with this binary signal 1 and 0 and their representation and in the later classes we will having a good discussion on this conversion that what exactly meant by this base 2 what is base 10 and many more so this is the phenomena that why we are dealing with the 1 and 0 that is the only requirement of the computer that it understand the machine language which is in the form of 1 and 0 and we have to understand the basic logic behind this whole process thank you